Hi everyone, welcome back to We're on the Case and today I am going to be casing out a card in this book and it's from A Year of Craft, Let's Party. I think this was 2021, 2021. So, I just opened it up today and we're going to do this one. It's going to be a small difference, right? Because this paper right here is not in the paper collection to my knowledge. The only paper that I see in the paper collection is the blue paper. So do a quick flip through. So much for quick. It's only this paper that's in here, right? Because here we have green. So we have a strip of this really pretty paper. Then we have this paper. And these dots. Um, um, rainbows, purple blocks, swatches, some type of um, lines or animal print in a different color, this pretty paper again in a different color, dots all in a different color, same thing though as this one. They're just smaller and all in different color, in one solid color. And then we have these sprinkles. Supposed to replicate. Oh, right here in my face. Okay, well, we do have the paper. So, anyway, it won't be that different then, besides, I'm doing it. <laughs> All right, and so if you've ever purchased some from this company, you know that they give you almost everything that you need. But in case you didn't, you don't have it, I wanted to do the card base so you can see. So, this is the one that came with because this is really white, and this one is Nina. This is a Nina paper. So this is the four by six that the paper, the thing came with, the thing, the um, box. And this is what I created. And this is four, this measures, I can't remember. It measures four by six, no, eight by six. So eight, so eight by six so if you take a sheet of paper cut it down eight by six and crease it you crease on the eight side and you'll get four by six all right and then so I don't I don't have access to my black car stock I didn't feel like going upstairs and getting it so I cut this down an eighth from five or an eighth from four and an eighth from six to create this background and so now we're gonna cut out another sheet of white paper and we're going to go ahead and use our stamp and then we'll it'll be almost this is a quick card we'll be finished real quick real real quick all right so i just want to say you know how many times i flipped through that paper and i was like it's not in there anyway this measures roughly a little over three and a half by one and a half so it can go across here like this so we're gonna go ahead and use our Paper. I think the stamp is small enough to go on this paper because I have to, you know, cut it out. <laughs> I have to fussy cut it out. So uh, we'll see. <laughs> we shall see. Yeah, I think it will fit. Let's see. Because they cut all this extra trim stuff off of it. We probably could get two stamps. We won't. We won't push our luck. All right. So I use the um, first fine clear morning mist just because it was a, pl uh, a plastic acrylic stamp I didn't want any trouble and so now this little guy is gray he's gray ribbon is yellow and then this is white uh, red and then these are striped blue and white I'm just gonna color them I'm not gonna do any fancy you see how they kinda just did in between I I'm just gonna color them alright so let's get to coloring Now I did something. Okay, I was gonna say I did something crazy. I pulled out two grays, and I, I was gonna say I think I put the gray back up, but I didn't. I love these little animals that look like this, like the little rabbits. So whenever I find stamps that have that semblance to it, I'm like, oh, I'm gonna get it. But I think this is a doggy. 
and I'm just doing a I guess a flicking motion and then I'm going to take this gray because I feel like this gray is a little bit darker than the other gray this one's called cool gray and that one just has numbers but I think these are from the same people so we'll see if I got it right I didn't feel like trying to pull out the Spectrum Noir markers and um, mimicking them because I still could have been wrong, you know. Have you ever noticed, like, if you get a hold of, um, so, like, for example, say if someone's de-stashing something and you get a hold of their de-stash and maybe you need some inspiration for whatever it is that you've gotten and you'll go to the site that the company makes sometimes it's so in my opinion it's very hard to find the um, that product like with Momenta it's almost impossible to find what you're looking for with them so I usually just go to Pinterest and pull up stuff because it just eases the eases some of the pain not all of it but a little bit of it this, this is a quick little case card. I think the hardest part for me was deciding what I was going to do. Because I didn't want to do anything that was um, very mentally taxing today. Only because my head is throbbing. If y'all have any remedies, any special... Oh, I do this and my headache goes away instantly. Please leave it in the comment section. I tried pickle juice. Maybe I didn't drink enough. I don't know. It did go away for a small amount of time, but then it came back. I have um so much stuff going on in my mind that it causes me to... I, I'm sure it's like an anxiety thing or because I had a... I don't know if you all remember I talked about it um, yesterday. I had an issue with my bank. So I um, had to call them on Monday. Today is Wednesday. Monday. It's been an ongoing problem, to say the least. And then on top of that, I ended up going to the bank. And I sat in there about two hours. And the issue was not resolved within those two hours. So then I came home and had um, to wait on hold. But, you know, they have that callback thing, so they called me back roughly about 45 minutes into the first time. And the man was like, I don't know why they sent me to, sent you to me. I can't help you. And then they transferred me. No resolve. The lady was like, you should just do this. So I did that, and I called back yesterday, and I spoke with someone, and he said, and I love, I love that he told me this. He said, I don't know why they told you this. You can't delete it. You can't remove it. You can't block it. So I have to be very careful, more careful than I have been in the past about it. I just don't want to. One of the companies charged me $50 for insufficient funds, and I was paying them $50. So that's $100, right? But luckily, they reversed, they reversed it. Because ultimately, in this situation, it wasn't my fault, right? It was definitely not my fault that it didn't work out like they told me it was going to work out. Let's cut this puppy out. I don't know what's going on. Customer service has changed a lot in the last five to ten years, I believe. Uh, the more social media rises, the more we don't have a lot of customer service. And so they have thank you so much at the top. You know, as we become more reliant on technology and social media, I just want to make sure you, everyone understands what I'm saying about that. Uh, our customer, our interpersonal skills, like when we talk to people, those things have, uh, in my opinion, decreased you know, um, and I think it's probably because I just come from a different 
generation mindset, right? Like you can't come in off the street after you graduate from high school thinking that you're the boss of a company. If you're not, if it's not your company, you can't expect certain things if it's not your company. Now, if you're part of the family, it's a little bit different. But in general, you know, you have to pay your dues, go, you know, um, rise up in ranks, not work so quote unquote hard to get you have to work hard and I I think that the generation we're now because things are so quick and easy technology social media you know you can get whatever you need like when as an example when you when I went to school if I needed to learn about something I had to go to the library and get a book and read it right <laughs> and research it now I could just go online if I want to learn about the Eiffel Tower I can go online and if I'm really savvy I can get a cheap hotel a plane flight and all that stuff and go to Paris on the weekend and see it for myself for under you know a certain amount of dollars depending on when when I look up this information all right we're going ahead and do right here So I do like technology because I'm able to chat with all of you. I've been able to meet a lot of wonderful people. But at the same time, I think that technology is ruining our mental stability because some of us think that, you know, that is what it is. I, when I was employed, I was talking to some young people where I used to um, teach. And they were talking to each other, sitting across chatting on their cell phones. So that lets you know where their mindset is and was. I'm using the card that I fabricated, not the one that they uh, provided in this kit. And I'm going to go ahead and use some glue. You know, a lot of people um, tend to give their kids, grandkids, nieces, nephews, cousins, whatever, the um, devices when they need, when they want them to do something. And, you know, I had I had went down that path myself. We had went out to a restaurant a few times, and we were giving that to our son so he could stop doing whatever it was that he was doing. But then I was like, no, you're going to sit here, and you're going to talk with us, or we're going to talk to you, or we're going to sit here in silence. We won't be on the um, tablets, no, no, no devices. Like, when, when I have company over like my friends come over and we go out to eat it's no cell phones you take a picture of your food post it and then that's it because you 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 spent money to come see me or i spent money to come see you i am not about to be a second place to some plastic with some circuitry no you're going to give me that attention like i'm going to give you that attention but i think that in itself has changed you know if you don't incorporate that into your your day-to-day -day lifestyle like my um very very close good friend her daughter came to visit me <laughs> and we had went to IHOP and I was like okay you can take a picture of your phone and put it up she said I already know Aunt Brandy I already know and like when we go places you you know take pictures but no no phones if we're going sightseeing who are you on the phone with like why are you on the phone take the pictures do whatever it is you're gonna do and move on like no the technology that part you know I think is why we have um, certain issues now if I had a doctor's appointment uh, a couple of weeks ago and my son was out of school it was spring break so whenever spring break was my son was out of school and I didn't have uh, anyone to take care of him while I had to get I had to get a, a a ultrasound done no x-ray and they the place I went allowed him to come in with me but stand behind the booth or whatever and I gave him my phone in just so he wouldn't you know bother the technician or anything like that but in general when we go places I don't give him his tablet no phone no nothing if we'd like take a long road trip then I'll give it to him if we're driving somewhere then he gets it but other than that no Because I want, you know, like, if you are over a certain age, you, you know what I'm about to say. Or you can relate. When you were driving down the road with your parents and you looked out the window 
you may have seen something, you know, what is it, the yellow punch bug or something like that, or cows. And we live by a lot of nature. <laughs> so, you know, he can see cows and all kinds of stuff. And I want him to look out the window and see that. I don't want him to be like, I couldn't see it because I was on my cell phone. I was on a tablet. Um, so I think that's why, I cut, circling back, I think that's why customer service is different now. Um, just because it's a different, it's a different mindset, a different environment of what's going on. But the people that helped me were very nice. Um, I have nothing but respect for them. Uh, the lady was like, I'm thank you for being so patient. Cause I had been at the, in the branch for two hours almost. And I do tend to have decent patience sometimes, but you know, it was a police officer in there, or, yeah, sh I think she was a police officer. I'm not trying to get shot because y'all messing with my money. I'm not, you know, here for this, a stick-up or anything like that. Anyway, this is our case card. This was fun to do. I love coloring this cute little image. It was so simple, so fun to do. The only thing that I think I, w I had issues with was the actual instructions that they were giving me. So, I did decide to do it, you know, our way. Do it a little bit different, and look at that and here we go so did we case it let me know anyway we were on the case today we'll see you again very soon i want to say thank you for watching until next time happy crafting